Rakesh Dile. This is Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week, a weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines. China arrests 59 Tibetans over possession of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's pictures. Former political prisoner Dhundrup Dorji passes away in Tibet. Grateful to the Tibetans inside Tibet, Sikyong on 61st Tibetan Democracy Day. Sikyong apprises His Holiness the Dalai Lama on Ladakh visit. Sikyong inaugurates memorial bust of Nima Tenzing. Tibetans in Switzerland protest Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Representative Mutub Tsiring meets USAID Deputy Assistant Administrator. Chinese authorities have arrested 59 Tibetans, including 19 monks and 40 lay people, in the Zha Wangpo in Karze Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Sinchuan Province, Tibet, last week for keeping pictures of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. According to the reports, the Chinese police arrested the Tibetans from their residences on 22nd August during various raids conducted in the past months. Some of the arrested monks are identified as Loden Chunglam. Palkhap, Tenzing Losel, Pendo, Losher, Chejok, Gaden, Sherab, Champel, Dalo, Cheba, Sunam Galak, and Tamdin Norbu. The names of the others remain unknown at the time. They are currently detained at a Churchill County police station. On 25th August, three days after the mass arrest, Chinese authorities summoned the local residents and warned them against keeping pictures of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Inspections on the town residence stepped up in the month of March following the death of Tenzing Nima, a teenage monk of the region who died of police torture on 19th January 2021. Former Tibetan political prisoner Dhundup Dorji passed away in Tibet's capital Lhasa at the age of 74. According to the sources, Dhundup Dorji, who spent years behind bars after campaigning for human rights of the Tibetan people, passed away on 25th August 2021. While the cause of his demise is not known, it is reported that he had problems with his legs. On 14th May 1992, he was arrested in Nakchu by the officials of the Lhasa intelligence for his outspoken demands for the rights of fellow Tibetans and was sentenced to two years and eight months in prison. He was released in January 1995. On the 61st Tibetan Democracy Day, Sikyong Pempet Siring remembered the Tibetans inside Tibet and lauded their indomitable courage and determination in protecting Tibetan identity in the face of China's continued implementation of repressive policies in Tibet. Today, as we commemorate the 61st Democracy Day, we extend our heartfelt greetings to our compatriots in Tibet. No matter how much China's propaganda machinery make false claims of development during the 70 years of so-called peaceful liberation of Tibet in its recent white papers, Tibetans inside Tibet have maintained indomitable courage and determination in the face of China's continued policy to exterminate the Tibetan identity. And they have been making all-round efforts to protect Tibet's religion, culture, language, and tradition. Speaking about the evolution of Tibetan democracy under the visionary leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Sikyong said that Tibetan democracy has come a long way since the early days of exile and it is the most important resource to keep alive our freedom struggle and combine our capabilities. The Central Tibetan Administration celebrated the 61st anniversary of Tibetan Democracy Day yesterday in Dharamshala. The official event saw cultural performances by the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts, screening of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's video on the importance of strengthening Tibetan democratic institutions, 
presenting awards and certificates to Tibetan students for their academic performances, book launch on the life of Gyalo Tundu, former Kano Tipa and elder brother of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and inauguration of Tipa's Yerki 2021 music album. On Wednesday this week, Si Kyung Pempat Siddhing apprised His Holiness on his recently concluded first official visit to Ladakh and updated on the activities he had undertaken since assuming the responsibility of Si Kyung. This is Si Kyung Pempa Siddhing's fourth audience with His Holiness the Dalai Lama after assuming the responsibility of Si Kyung in May this year. Si Kyung Pemba Siddhing had successfully concluded his eight days Ladakh visit and reached the Ramshala on Sunday this week. Si Kyung Pemba Siddhing inaugurated memorial bust of Nima Tenzing in the Ramshala on Monday this week. Nima Tenzing was a Tibetan who served in Indian Army and died in a military operation on the south bank of Pangong Lake foiling China's incursion last year. A similar memorial bust of Nima Tenzing was unveiled in Leh Ladakh by Si Kyung Pembatsiring on the final day of his visit to the region last week. Tibetan community of Switzerland and Liechtenstein organized a cycle rally in protest against the 2022 Winter Olympics in China on Saturday last week. In honor and respect to all Tibetan martyrs, over 80 cyclists wore t-shirts imprinted photos of Tibetan self-immolators and rallied from Zurich City's main station to the Consulate of China. The members of the Tibetan community called for the international community, including International Olympic Committee, to heed the voices of people suppressed by the Chinese Communist regime. Representative Ngodup Tsering and Secretary Tashi Dundup met Anjali Kaur, USAID's new Deputy Assistant Administrator of the Bureau for Asia, and Joe Taylor on Wednesday this week. Representative Tsering thanked USAID for their strong support to CTA and discussed possibilities for larger direct funding and Si Kyung's vision of digitization of the CTA. Deputy Assistant Administrator Anjali Kaur assured USAID's full support and expressed her willingness for continued collaboration with Central Tibetan Administration. So much for this week. See you next time and have a good weekend.